Hello, I'm Violeta Ruizman and I'm presenting Outlier Redemption for the USR conference. Let's start with the definition from Wikipedia. An outlier is a data point that differs significantly from other observations. What people teach you about outliers is that they are bad and that they can ruin your model. So you think about them as a bomb that will explode your model when you fit it to your data. Then once you know that your data set has some outliers, you will be sad and you should spot the outliers and get rid of them or use methods that ignore them. But how can we spot outliers? You can use, for example, a box plot that represents the outliers as isolated data points. Or you can use, for example, an histogram where you will see the outliers as the small bars that lie far from the rest of your data. But what people forget to teach you about outliers is that they can actually be cool. You can tell stories about them and they can be fun. So what I propose is instead of outlier rejection, outlier redemption. Spot outliers and tell stories about them. I will tell you two stories that I found out procrastinating with data. The first one is about mobile apps. So I always find myself wondering if I should buy or not an application given its price. And I usually think if, it, if it's more expensive, then it's probably better, right? So I was playing with this data set from Kaggle that has prices of the applications from one platform in dollars. And I got this histogram that doesn't look really good, that has a bar that is quite huge, close to zero, and that's normal because applications tend to be cheap or free, but there is a tiny bar around 400, and I wanted to know more, so I made zoom on this histogram and I realized that there were around 15 applications that had a price of around $400. That's quite expensive. So I was curious and I searched the name of these apps and I realized that most of them were something like I am rich. So these are actually the most useless apps in the platform because they do nothing. They are only to show off your money and see Sinosaur. On the other side, I will tell you a story about Wikipedia trends. So I've seen some people on Twitter wondering about the top visited article on Wikipedia in Spanish. So here we have a screenshot of two tweets asking why Cleopatra is always on top, a top read article on Wikipedia. So I plotted the number of visits of the top articles that I found in Spanish. And between them, there was Cleopatra, but also I plotted to compare uh, the Marie Curie article that is this spike, big spike here, and the periodic table that is this periodic pattern here on the bottom. So I realized that Cleopatra was a quite constantly constant uh, line and super high compared to the rest. So it was an outlier, but why? So thanks to some Twitter folks, I learned that it seems to be because uh, the Google Assistant recommends you to search for Cleopatra on Wikipedia. So a lot of people are doing this. 
Finally, these were two stories about outliers. You can check out more on the outlier redemption site where you will find the data sets and also the art code. Thank you. This is a website and this is my Twitter handle if you want to chat.